Moving in power can be difficult. We have to serve and understand others, even when they don't really understand what it should look like. It's all about accessing the true power in us in a way that's real for those who need it. Let's check it out. We must understand people without kingdom mindset and we are to serve them. Go to Corinthians chapter 2, 1 Corinthians. Ken, get ready for me. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Give me 10. Give me, give, give me 10 to 16. Let's go. But it was to us that God revealed these things by his spirit. Uh -huh. For his spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. No one, no one, can, no one can know a person's thoughts except that person's own spirit. Mm -hmm. And no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. Mm -hmm. And we have received God's spirit, not the world's spirit, mm -hmm. so we can know the wonderful things God has freely given us. Mm -hmm. When we tell you these things, we do not use words that come from human wisdom. Instead, we speak words given to us by the Spirit, using the Spirit's words to explain <laughs> spiritual truths. But people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from God's Spirit. It all sounds foolish it to sounds them. It sounds foolish and to they them. They can't understand it, for only those who are spiritual can understand what the Spirit means. Wait, wait, wait. He says, but people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from God's Spirit. He says it sounds like foolishness to them, and they can't understand it. I tried to, uh, I tried to get on Netflix the other day, and for years, I've never had a Netflix account. For years, I stole my mom Netflix, my mother-in-law. So I got on Netflix. I popped down the couch for my food. <laughs> that mug said, you are not, like, long in. Are you on vacation? <laughs> Miss Cynthia, are you on vacation? I'm like, uh -uh. <laughs> and I was about to text her and like, hey, mama, like, <laughs> can you give me a double confirmation? Give me your password so I get up in here. And then it dawned to me. I'm like, never mind. And I'm like, well, how much is Netflix? I'm like, I ain't paying that. Screw that. I don't need it. And it, something dawned on me. I didn't have connection. I couldn't enjoy all the content, all the communication, all the brand new movies that just come out and all that. I couldn't enjoy it because I didn't have connection. I wasn't willing to pay what it cost to have connection. I didn't have the Holy Spirit connection. And I wasn't willing to serve and love body and give up myself for God to get what it cost to enjoy the things of the kingdom of Netflix. So I said, screw it. Sit on the couch and watch some crappy cable. So I found something stupid because I wasn't willing to give up. And God would show me when I sat there, this is how we do as Christians. We don't want to give up ourselves. We're not willing to even do what it takes to receive the Holy Spirit so we can understand the things of the Spirit. So we settle for cable. That's free. Everybody got them to the six channels or seven channels. Everybody got that frequency. That's a free one. And we, 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 I set up a dumbed-down entertainment. I set up a dumbed-down connection that everybody got because I couldn't perceive the higher things because I didn't want to pay. It, went even, it didn't even cost that much. My chicken nuggets that I had on my plate cost more than a month's subscription. And I didn't, I didn't find a value in my heart for it. And that sometimes we would sit in church and the word of God would go forth. And we find no value of it. We know, it's, we know it's true. We know it'll be better our life. We know it's what we need. We know it's what God's been saying to us for 20 years, but we refuse and we'll settle for basic seven, four, channel 41. We'll settle for whatever come on life or whatever that be coming on them crazy little shows because we didn't want to give up what it took. We can't understand the things of the Spirit. Why she go to church every night? That's crazy, girl. But you can go to the bar every night. She had church Tuesday, Monday they had team, they had the, the young adult Bible study, and Wednesday they had church Bible study, discipleship class, and he had practice on Thursday. Then he got the nerve to want to go clean up on Saturday morning, and then Sunday he's, how do he have time for his own life? See, so you, you can't discern the things of the Spirit, boo. See, you don't understand why they would do that every day. You don't understand why they would serve like that. You don't understand why they would love like that. You don't understand why they would do that because you, can't, you don't carry the Spirit. Verse, verse 15 says, those who are spiritual can evaluate all things, but they can, themselves cannot be evaluated by others because they don't understand you, boo. So when all your friends who've been changing up and you didn't clank, clank, locked it up and, they, and, and you didn't did all you can to honor God and they're like, why she thinks she's better than you? See, now she's trying to evaluate you, but she can't. She can't understand you. See, because she doesn't carry the spiritual. She can't understand why her homegirl don't do what she do no more. Why my friend don't do what they, why he don't sit there and get in the rotation with us? 
Why he don't do what we do no more? They can't understand, so they make up something about you. Because they don't understand the Spirit of God is changing you and redirecting you. He says, he says last verse 16, for who, can know, who can, uh, for who can know the Lord's thoughts? Who knows enough to teach him? But, but we understand these things, for we have the mind of Christ. See, we can understand kingdom in heaven because we've took on his spirit and we've taken on his principles. And we've taken on his word. Now we carry his mind. Now we can flow and speak on the, we can prophetically speak on his behalf. Yes, sir. We can do these things because we carry his spirit. Have y'all didn't talk and spoke to somebody and stuff didn't happen to y'all and y'all like, this, ain't, this is a coincidence. No, you carry the mind of Christ. You operate in Christ. Yeah. So you're always in the right place at the right time. You always saying the right things, and then somebody's like, how did you know that? I don't know. i am just got the mind of Christ. I, I, you know, sometimes when stuff comes out your mouth from your mind, it just happens. Yeah. When you carry the mind of Christ and you're speaking in the spirit, and you, you, it just happens. You don't really be thinking about it. Sometimes you're like, I hope I ain't wrong, Lord. I'm just trying to be used by you. And you just flowing what come out of you. And then they end up saying, how did you know? The mind of Christ. His Holy Spirit just told me. I don't know. And you're just operating and serving. Watch this, watch this. We got to understand the people who don't carry, carry, carry the mind of Christ. You don't get mad at a blind man. Like, why are you bumping stuff? He can't see. I don't get mad at Karen when I say, bro, go make, man, I want some cereal. Make your own cereal. She's down there mad because she can't reach it. She can't reach it. She a baby. And we're sitting here getting mad at people for not understanding the word of God or not living better or not wanting to come to church with us or our friends that don't get it. They don't carry his spirit. They don't understand what you own. They don't get it. That's why when you post how you post, there'll be people that come like, oh, you, <laughs> I just, that just popped in my head. When you post something about Christ or your commitment to Christ and the world slap you and slander you for it, like who you think you are? That's why I don't like the church. All I said was how can we give the chiefs more than we give God? I ain't even saying nothing. But because they don't carry the spirit or hair, have his mind, there's no conviction in them. The Holy Spirit, don't, so they just like, you just judging us. Well, no, actually, I was just talking about me. <laughs> They don't understand that we have to have a patience and a love and, a, and come down and humble ourselves to understand it. He says in John 3, chapter 3, of John 3, 3, verse 3, he says in the Amplified Version, Jesus answered them, I assure you and I most solemnly say to you, unless a person is born again, reborn above from a spiritual, uh, spiritually transformed, renewed, sanctified, set apart, he cannot ever see and experience the what? Unless you are born again, unless you have given up yourself by the Spirit of God, he is coming to you or living with him, walking with him, you can never understand or see the things of the kingdom. People won't get you. You'll be in your house, you're the only one who loves God, you're the only one trying to live a certain way, they will never understand you. They will just clown you all the time. They will never be able to see it until they come in and be baptized in the Spirit. In other words, give their life to Christ, becoming sanctified and holy, pursuing his ways. Not perfect, none of us can ever be that, but pursuing his ways. <laughs>